Ever wonder about how you fare a haul? Well, today we're going to talk about a three step process in doing so. And in addition, we're going to build this tool. So stick around. That's all coming up on this episode of The Art of Boat Building. Before I got started with the fairing, I came by with my pull saw and I cut off all of the tails of the planking here at the transom. After I got that all cut off, I then took my belt sander and evened them all up. After I got it all sanded nice and smooth, I put a fresh coat of sealer over the transom so that it wouldn't dry out. So now that we've got that done, we can now move to start working on the fairing. One of the first steps to fairing is to start with planing off the, some of the high spots. And I'm using a number four Stanley here. And the th trick here is to not necessarily go with the grain, but to cut on a slight diagonal. Now you can see here uh, in this uh, board here, there's, where there's a, you can see the light shadow on there. Um, that protrudes probably at least, I'd say, a little more than an eighth of an inch. So what we would do then is to go along here slowly work that down. Uh, now I'm taking very shallow cuts because uh, being on a on a curved surface like this uh, it's very easy to cut too deep. So it's much better to take some small bites than to be take big long bites. Um, uh, but so the idea is so that when I run my hand over here, as I had done already up in here, that it's, I don't really feel a big difference between the two planks. Well, that's feeling pretty good. Uh, what I'll do is go over the entire boat uh, with this method, and then we'll move to the second step. One of the important things as you're planning is to make sure that all of these screws are seated down deep enough so you don't hit them with your plane. looks uh, pretty good. I think I've got the uh, port side here all planed out. So the next step will be to move to the rotary sander. Now the next step is to use a rotary sander. And the trick here is, is that it needs to be at a very low RPM. A sander I've got here is actually a sanding polishing tool and it has a variable speed on it. I'll show you. So why that's important is the 
cedar is very soft and you don't want to be very aggressive with it. So I've got an 80 grit uh, paper on here and also that this is a, is a soft pliable uh, disc on here. And that's really important so that when you're kind of going over those curves that it'll help kind of follow the contour of the hull. So uh, we'll start off here on the uh, front and I'll show you how it works. Well, you can see here I've already begun sanding a little bit here and that is uh, pretty smooth. Uh, when I run my hand across that I don't catch on any of the boards. Um, so the way that I'm doing this uh, in order to see some of these spots, I'm taking a, a dark pencil and that's making a few marks on here like so. And by doing that, then when I'm sanding it, I can tell when I'm getting down even to the same spot. So let's give that a shot. See how that smooths that out really well. Now I'm running my hand across here, I can feel a little lump right in here. And that took it out really well. So I will, so I will uh, continue to sand on down and uh, making marks wherever I think I need to, like here. I'll need to do that. And here it's the opposite. So we'll give it a, give it a go. of things that I've noticed as I'm doing this is uh, first off it's pretty easy to see where I've been because of the, these boards that have oxidized and you can kind of see where it's, its suntan is a little bit right here. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed uh, that I found is not to ride up on the tip of the sander but more or less to let at least the rotating half um, to be touching. So not the whole way, but from the center out so that you've got a broader spot on here that you're actually sanding. Um, it tends to, if you come up on the tip, it, it kind of wants to bounce a little bit. If you're down in here, it actually gets a much nicer flat surface. Uh, should be it for the sanding of the port side and our uh, next step now is we can start long boarding. Now that we have all of the rotary sanding done we can turn our attention to the third step which is long boarding 
And as the name implies, it's essentially using a long board that has sandpaper on it to sand the hull. The long board helps to even out any minor irregularities and to fair the hull out. So I set out to make a long board and there's a lot of examples out there uh, and here are a few of them. Um, one of the things that I wanted was a board that was about 16 to 18 inches long and that the sandpaper would be easy to change. So a lot of these homemade ones are simply a piece of plywood with a couple of knobs on each end and many times the sandpaper is glued on to the board. Well, I wanted it to be able to be something that I could easily change. My first step was to set out to find a roll of sandpaper so that I'd know what width to make my longboard. And in doing so, I happened to be at the Harbor Freight Store and I noticed that they had an auto body sander. And it was $7.99, so with the ubiquitous 20% off, I think it lowered it down uh, even with tax down to like about $6.50. And it was one that was easily to change the sandpaper. So I thought, well, that might be a very good donor tool considering its cost. Um, the materials for the other thing would probably cost me almost as much. One thing that I did want the longboard to do was to be flexible so that it would bend easily over the hull of the boat. The one that came from Harbor Freight had a handle on it so that it was not flexible. So that meant that I needed to put two new handles on it. So I have lots of walnut, so I decided I would make those handles out of black walnut. And also that I would make them very comfortable to use my hand because I suspect that I'll be using the sander quite a bit. So I have a hand plane that the handle is very comfortable. So I decided to use that as a prototype to make a pattern and to measure for the front knob. So here's the finished tool. Uh, it turned out pretty nice. It's really, really comfortable in my hand. Um, so let me show you how it works. Um, as the hull bends, bends over this, we can then sand this.
That fares that out really nicely. Now one of the things that you want to do is to sand on a diagonal like I'm doing and that helps even out those boards even more so. Um, it's amazing how I rub my hand where it hasn't been, how I can find little micro level low spots and high spots. And by going over this, even with just a few passes, they're almost all of them disappear. So I'm going to finish sanding the port side with the longboard and then move to the starboard side and repeat the same process. So in the meantime, remember, if you're going to make it, make it beautiful.